Well, it's nice for you to join us. Actually, I came for some more dire news. Oh, really? Let me guess. Am I going to have a double ganger? Someone who's the opposite of black, but white? Like the theme song? <laughs> no, I'm not a big fan of Jackson. Or am I? Just tell us, Miguel, what you came to tell to ask us. Well, you see, there's going to be a new warrior coming out next year. A warrior. Or actually two of them. Madam Webb, I think, and Craven the Hunter. Who's Craven? I don't know. He's, by my dimension, he's a hunter who's a target to you guys. Really, I had dreams about Craven once. He was my mentor. Me too. But for me, I I dreamt that he was after Kurt Connors as when he became the lizard. You know, I was still thinking, how come your Kurt Connors didn't become the lizard more than my Norman didn't become the goblin other his, than his son? Beats me. You guys are such losers when you don't have what it's got in common. I see. Why you bring him along? He's not a bad guy. He's just um, a little... How do I say it? He's funny. Funny? Is that all you think of? I'm funny? I'm more than funny. I am a party guy. Yeah, I see. And I attended thousands of parties in my childhood. But about this Madam Web, who is she like? I don't know yet. But she has the power to travel through dimensions. Maybe that's the reason why we're here. No, no. The reason I brought you guys here by accident is because... What are you guys even watching? Oh, I'm watching my old childhood movie, Ernest Goes to Jail. He said he's also known as Electro Man and he's wearing green clothes. That guy looks nothing like Electro. He does when he's wearing green. Actually, that fits perfectly. Yeah, I did research. And it says that Electro was always green and white, but not black. Yeah, but I still prefer Ultimate Electro better because everyone digs it. Just like how they dig yours was Nick Fury. Yeah, I see that. Let's hope. And hopefully, if Madam Web shows up, maybe she can recruit us to fight off this evil Emperor Null. I must warn you, Null is a dangerous emperor and an ascent. He is the creator of my kind. Does that make you your make him your dad or by any chance? Yes and no, actually. You know, Eddie, I can hear you. At least you got no vendetta against me. Why would I have a vendetta against you? Because unlike those guys you brought in this world, I don't even know you. you me neither, but I still have I still have a vision towards my other. A vision, huh? Yes. Hopefully your other brother doesn't have a chance to hurt you guys no more. Well, at least I fixed everything right except for Rhino... The other Venom and the other Goblin, Harry. I still have to tell you about Harry. Yeah, me too. Except, I'm kind of jealous as well. You're always the jealous one, aren't you? How come your Harry is good but mine was bad? And never had a chance to redeem. Well, he's not bad from the start. He's just misguided and confused. At least Ned wasn't. And at least I don't have a best friend who holds a vendetta except for Cassidy. But he likes me. That makes him your Harry. Anyone else? Well, I heard rumors about Dr. Michael Morbius and Milo had a bond. Who's Milo? He's known as Lucian Crown. I don't like that name. That sucks. Yeah. At least we didn't see him. Otherwise, we wouldn't last facing him. Yeah, me neither. I wonder how it would have turned out for others. Ugh, been wasting my time. Yo, Benny. Gobby, I got some news for you. Oh, really, Max? What do you have in mind? It, this better be important for your sake. We just did some research on the media. It says that both of your actors are going to be 
whether or not respiring. Really? Let me guess. I'm appearing in Venom 3. I'm going to be the anti-Venom. Uh, no, not exactly. They're still doing a third movie. Or am I doing a crossover? Because there is there is going to be a crossover, but just not the Spider-Man you're thinking of. They're doing Madam Web, and they're saying that you guys are going to be in there. Us? Why us? Because you two have one thing in common. We didn't introduce our names more than we have lack of progress. What do you mean? The Green Goblin I know is supposed to have full armor. Otherwise, you would have been purple on this side. And even violet hair as well. Why you want me to be purple for? No, that's nothing. And what about you? You look... Um, I know, I know. They're asking me to be muscular like a giant. What do you mean, a giant? Why would you say that? I like you just the way you are. You look perfect for a partner. Yeah, and more for me and Electro, we're actually me and Max, we're, we're both manipulated and treated like dirt. Yeah. You know, Marco, I think I like you because... I thought I was a nobody. Yeah, and I thought you're just like everyone else who treats me like like I'm responsible for unexpected deaths. So tell me again, how did you end up like Electro? Well, you see, like I said, I've been fell into the eels, but I wouldn't be in there if, if Alistair Smythe was responsible for me. Yes, I know, and I still have a score with that arrogant employee. So do I. But it's just between you and me. You and I are going to be the perfect partners. What do you say, Harry? Right on you, Brock. Besides, I never had a best friend who was more evil, more intimidating. Because unlike, unlike Osborne and his father, who are nothing but s symptoms suffering towards their disease, you, on the other hand, are pure. Yeah, and unlike this big buffoon I heard about, you, however, have no resource of being a, a lethal protector. That's what they always say. I wish you can change your mind. Because what about Gwen? What about her? She's dead. What? No, no, not her. The other Gwen. For your sake. What's his problem? He likes her. He wants her to be his girlfriend. Oh, yeah. You know, when I first met Gwen, she remembered my name. I can't believe it. No one's ever gave me my name before. You know, Max, I think you're going to have good friends one of these days. Just between you, me, Gwen, and Peter. What? Nothing. Yeah, I'm just kidding. At least not my Peter you're referring to, but are you? Um, yeah, let's skip it. You know what? Consider yourselves dumped. Because this friendship just expires since you bailed me out of prison. Oh, please. All I want is to make you take back the grid. Besides, look what they did to you. They made you some kind of smurf monster. Yeah. And look what Spider-Man did to you. He treated you like a mud pile. And I recruited you to help you re resurrect your daughter from his her sickness. And if you can't join us... Might as well be one of us. So, when are we appearing? When this Madam Web movie comes out soon? Maybe after this Craven the Hunter movie. You better be right about one thing. I am always right. It better be true. Because I have been, been, I've been out of action for a year. But the hard part is, if we want to be back, we need to encourage the actors. Our actors. I don't believe it. They're still going to turn it down because I don't trust anyone who gives a no secret to nothing. Oh, they will. They just need a full year of tough encouragement. Maybe watch a lot of movies, shows, read comic books. Then they're back on action. All right. I'll give them one year to give them a choice if we're in. And But if they refuse... I'm going to destroy the ones who are responsible for my dismissals, except yours. Willem Dafoe, Alfred Molina, 
and Sam Raimi. What do you have against him? He made me a minor role. Just like how Mark Webb did this to you. But this time, this is my web. Our web. So you want to be my friend? Yeah. Interested? Then let's go kill, shall we? Yes. We will. Best friends forever. Okay, this looks gay. Don't count on it. I heard that. So when is this Venom 3 coming out? I'm not sure yet, but I fear that Toxin will be here. Who's Toxin? Patrick Mulligan. Wait, why didn't you tell me? Annie can still be in danger. We can't just leave her behind with him. Because who knows what this new symbiote that Carnage developed will be like. Don't worry. If anything happens to Annie, he needs to go past me. But what if Mulligan's a good guy? Like, what if he can control this toxin symbiote before he engages you? Well, I'll give him a chance. Besides, what can what else can go wrong? Me, brother. Holy crap! Not you again. <laughs> You're still afraid of me. I hate you when you laugh. Kind of remind me of someone else. Like who? Me? What do you guys want anyway? We're here to warn you that despite... You bl you blipped us back in our realities before we're still coming back. Yes, when this Madam Web does, we'll be ready for you spiders. But for now, we have a lady to prey on. Look, I'm not sure if you guys are coming or not, but it's... Well, it's a... It's a matter we're willing to take. What? I'm trying to remember what Otto told me before we fight and redeemed. Oh yeah, but I'm not. Listen, Parker, I've been out of action for years because no one gives no shoot a lesson for anything. And this time, we're doing this my way. And with Goblin Oct out of the picture, I can do whatever I want. Mimic their voices. And this time, out they are. And besides, the power of the symbiote is on the palm of my fingers. And best of all, once I get my hands on this fusion reactor, I'm going to rebuild it and use the Tesseract to travel as many dimensions through time and space I want. The Tesseract? Wait, what's that? It's a blue cube that travels through space. I went through this before. You did? I am kind of an expert in my universe. You probably know all these those rocks. Yeah, those pretty little diamonds. Those are Infinity Stones, actually. Quiet! I don't know what those stones are, but I want to touch it. Save it, Smeagol. You're not going to touch those precious little rings. Oh, <laughs> nice try. Yeah, so why don't you take Stitch over here and skedaddle? Don't count on it, Parker. We'll be back. And for the record, it's not over. The Multiverse Saga has just begun. We'll see. Because I don't know if I'm going to face you or not. But I'm going to bite both of your heads off. Starting with Libreth over here. Me? Yes, you. <sighs> Let's go. Is that true? Well, I'm not sure. But it's only a rumor. It means whether or not it's true or not. But they appeared. We only appeared because we were lucky. Also, without me, there wouldn't be a you. Yeah, and also we needed to give you some lessons to learn. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be there either. And yet, you still have another symbiote on your trail. I do? Yeah, we left this piece behind by accident. That means you must be careful. Carnage might come back since I ate him. You what? Something that was ripped out of my wrist. Still got eaten inside my stomach, but will peel off my butt. Okay, that is gross. You actually pooped him out again. Yes, that. That wasn't a poop. That was more like, like molt. 